Hi everyone, my name is Stephen Simon and welcome back to my YouTube channel and specifically welcome to the very first episode of Python for Data Science. In this video series, we're gonna talk about Python with around 6 to 7 videos that will be dedicated only for data science. When I say Python for data science, I mean Python that is only required for data science. We're not gonna look into exception handling, we're not gonna talk about uh, oops in Python, but we will learn only that much of Python that will help you move into uh, libraries working with TensorFlow or Scikit-Learn. And in this particular video, we're gonna talk about on how you can download Python and install in your laptop, computer, or basically in your machine. So all this is gonna be in this video and in this series. And as I always say, coming up. All right, so let's get started. So even before I go ahead and start uh, downloading the Python, I wanna show you that I do not have Python installed in my system. So it's all gonna be a fresh installation and no cheating, provided I have three screens with me. Okay, so the very first thing I want you to do is go to Google and search for Python. That's it, search for Python. And uh, you'll find the first result probably that says python.org. Click on the first link. And it's gonna take you to the home page of Python. You can find tons of documentation here, different libraries, community, and all that but for this video we are only concerned with downloading of the video so on this task bar or the navigation bar you'll just hover to downloads and you'll find all releases source code windows mac os other platforms license and alternate implementation now as you see i am on a windows machine so i'm going to hover to windows and even when i do it i get an option to download from here but i'm not going to do that just to show you a lot more what the download page provides okay so uh, once you click on that windows it's gonna take you the to the entire uh, different versions that are available but for now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on downloads right just click on download don't click on windows right click on downloads and you have to click on download win download python 3.8.5 while i'm making this video this is the you can see it says it is the latest version of Windows. So you can go ahead and click on downloads and the download should start. It's like 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 seconds. And we are done with the downloading, right? We are still need to do the installation. So uh, once it's downloaded, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my downloads folder, but I actually downloaded it, right? I actually downloaded it cheating okay so uh, once it's downloaded you now remember it's an exe file right now there are different versions of label you can either download a zip file or a tar file or other different formats but i like to go ahead and select the dot exe files so that it is easy to install right so let's go ahead and double click on the file that we have downloaded do you want to run this file of course we want to run this file now here's something uh remember install python 3.8.5 64-bit right one thing that is very very important and sometimes you may miss and the only reason i'm making this video is you need to click on this small checkbox towards the bottom that says add python 3.8 to path this is very very important make sure you do it i mean if you create uh, virtual environments or if you're really advanced in python of course you can manually do it and do some uh, you know, um, uh, it, I mean, you can do it later on too, but my suggestion would be to click on this add Python 3.8 to path. Once you have done that, click on install now. Don't click on customize installation. I'm not a pro, right? Okay, click on install now and click. Yes, we trust this application and the downloading should start. So what I'll do is I'll pause this video and once it's done, I'll come back. All right, so we are now done with the installation. It says successful and I'm gonna click on close. So what I want you to do is click on Windows, search for CMD, command prompt, click on it and just go ahead and type P-Y-T-H-O-N space hyphen hyphen V-E-R-S-I-O and then press enter. You can see it says Python 3.8.5 version is installed, right? So it means your system now has Python. You can just also maybe go ahead and 
write Python and you can just maybe start programming over here too. But I want to take you to a more important place that is once you've installed this Python, you get uh, application that is called IDLE, which is an interactive development environment for Python. Just go ahead and click on it, or maybe you can just search Python IDLE. And in your case, now I already had it installed, so I think it is taking my previous uh, user settings. So maybe you want to go ahead and click on Windows, configure IDLE, and maybe change your font size from maybe like 12 or 13 to maybe just increase it, or maybe just if you leave it, right? So this is actually place where you are going to write your Python code. Uh, you won't write, be writing here for all time because once you write here uh, and you close this window, you just cannot save it, right? So there are multiple ways to save your Python files that we're gonna cover in the next video. So for now, what we did is we went to Python website, we downloaded Python for Windows, we installed it and remember what we did is very important was that we added it to our path variables. That was very, very important. You can just come here and write two plus two gives you four. That's what we are going to cover in the next video. And that's it. All right, so that was all in this video. We saw how to download and install Python in your machine. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about on how you can go ahead and get started with the Python. If you have watched video till here, I would suggest you to please go ahead and like and subscribe my channel. As in this channel, I'm gonna upload everything that is related to data science, machine learning and AI. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.